Hey fam, I hope everyone is doing good, feeling blessed, and most importantly, feeling abundant. Welcome to Tinksy's Corner. And in today's video, this is an update about union. And you know, I would just like to clarify a few questions that I've been receiving about union and the previous video that I uploaded, which was tied titled divine union is approaching your kingdom spouse will recognize you you know just giving an indication that things are coming together so firstly you know one thing i would like to say is that you know i believe that when it comes to union there are different groups you know in this process so not everyone is gonna go into union like right now because i've been seeing that there's a lot of engagements um couples that are coming together and it is so beautiful it's making me happy you know it's really resonating that okay this is something that is going to be fulfilled so i know that there are people that are looking at these unions and you know you're still in separation with your person or you have not even yet met a person so it can be a bit disheartening you know you might just feel as though when is my time coming but i definitely feel that this union period is gonna be up until next year um may june july you know we will still be in this time of union and you know one thing i'm also recognizing is that for certain unions to come into play the false unions the unequally yoked unions they need to end so as much as we are going to be seeing people coming together you know getting married getting engaged there's also going to be a very large collective that is getting divorced that is separating and some of these relationships have been on the rocks for a very long time but they have managed to sustain themselves or they've managed to stay in these relationships because they are worried about what people are gonna say or just worried about the public perception you know of what is going to happen if we break up you know some of these relationships they are tied together with children assets um money history so there is a collective that is supposed to come into the divine unions but they are still stuck in unequally yoked relationships and they are bounded by fear insecurity you know lack of trust in god you know because i truly believe that if god is causing a relationship right now to end in your life it is because he wants to bring something new into your life he wants to bring something that resonates more with his spirit and what he would like you to do with him so as i am saying that you know i do feel that some of us um our partners or the people that we are supposed to go into this divine union with are stuck in relationships with um with someone or people that they're not meant to be with anymore some of them are married they need to get divorced you know and also keeping in consideration that you don't want a person who has just separated and then they come to you they also need time to heal they need time to discover themselves they need time to wake up to what god is calling them to do in this season so i just feel that you know we are being asked to be patient but understand that the promise is going to be fulfilled Fulfilled. and just because you see someone else getting it before you it doesn't mean that you're not worthy or it's not going to happen for you it is going to happen but you need to understand that you are on your own timeline and that there are different aspects that are at play some you do not see some you do see and you are aware of so basically you know just be patient and know that it is coming and you know um also i'm sorry i'm sweating it's this light is really hot but yeah <laughs> and you know also needing to understand that marriage is more than a ring it is more than an engagement it is more than a proposal before you can go into a marriage with someone you need to marry yourself you need to marry your goals you need to be dedicated to building yourself you know to stepping into who you 
you are so before you can expect someone else to want to marry you or come into union with you you need to ask yourself am i in union with myself am i in alignment with my mission my purpose with what god is asking me to do am i serving you know am i being an ambassador those are very, very important questions because marriage is a joining of forces. So once you are in a marriage with yourself, it'll be easier for you to meet someone who is also in a marriage with themselves and then you join forces and you make things happen you know you build an empire you build something that will last for years and years and years so that is just a very important question that i feel we all need to be asking ourselves you know to say am i in a marriage with myself am i happy with myself have i done my healing work have i gone within you know am i working on my health am i working on become better on becoming better am i speaking my mind am i being a leader in areas where you see there needs to be leadership you know so i just feel a lot of us are being asked to step up and get out of our comfort zones and not focus too much on union relationships love but rather focus on ourselves and once you understand yourself as a person then it'll be easier for someone to come and understand you because people can only meet us at a level that we have met ourselves so you cannot expect someone to respect you if you don't if you don't respect yourself you can't expect someone to love you if you don't love yourself you can't expect someone to um to not betray you but you are betraying yourself or you are not doing what you need to be doing for yourself so i just feel that you know we are in a season of self you know going within needing to temper our emotions and work on our addictions because that's another thing that can delay union which and that is addictions you know and understanding that addictions are so broad you know your addiction could be that you can watch a series the whole day and literally finish a season or or, you know you really love buying donuts or you know you can spend the whole day online things such as that you know needing to cut them down and just be more proactive read a book you know meditate pray but do things that uplift your spirit and allow you to hear the voice of god more clearly in your life and yeah that is where i end this video so thank you so much for tuning into tingsu's corner and i would like to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel i am so humbled and i really do love and appreciate you all so much Mwah.